seven major comets, more than we've seen in any modern season, are now plunging toward the inner solar system together, including the interstellar Stranger 3 I Atlas. In most years, you'd be lucky to spot one celestial visitor this bright, but late 2025 will unleash a cosmic traffic jam astronomers have never recorded, a tightly packed swarm that could reshape skylines and spark debates about what happens when heaven's rarest guests collide. Why are so many arriving at once? And what hidden risks or wonders wait as Earth finds itself surrounded? The answers begin with how these seven icy wanderers broke every rule in the book. The Minor Planet Center's database, the gold standard for tracking solar system visitors, offers a stark record. Since the dawn of digital sky surveys in the year 2000, not a single season has produced a cluster like this. Most years, the tally for bright naked eye comets barely reaches one, sometimes two, in a lucky stretch. The average holds steady year after year, even as survey networks like PanStars, NEAT, and ATLAS have multiplied their reach and sensitivity. Yet for late 2025, the logbooks are bracing for seven major comets, all threading the inner solar system within just six months. Not faint, forgettable specks, but objects forecast to blaze in binoculars, and in some cases rival the best naked eye shows of the past two decades. Analysts at the MPC and ESA have checked and rechecked the orbital data, confirming that this isn't a fluke of overzealous predictions or a side effect of more powerful telescopes. The clustering stands out even when accounting for every improvement in sky monitoring, every uptick in discovery rates. No digital era record shows more than four major comets reaching perihelion within two astronomical units of the Sun in a single season. The 2025 swarm is not just rare, it's a statistical outlier, the kind of event that would have been dismissed as improbable if it hadn't unfolded in real time. For astronomers, the numbers alone are enough to raise eyebrows and spark urgent questions. What could possibly drive so many icy wanderers to converge now, and what hidden patterns might be lurking in the data? Long before digital sky surveys and all-sky cameras, astronomers relied on ship logs, observatory circulars, and the patience of the naked eye. In 1874, the so-called Year of the Comets, mariners and stargazers alike recorded a rare spectacle. Two bright comets graced the skies within months of each other. News traveled by telegraph and newspaper, with Harvard College circulars and European journals cataloging each appearance in meticulous detail. Observers from Liverpool to Calcutta described the overlapping tales and the public's growing fascination. Yet even in that celebrated season, the count never rose above three, and the comets arrived spread out over many months, never crowding the sky as a true swarm. For chroniclers of the era, two or three bright comets in a year was cause for excitement a curiosity to be debated in drawing rooms and lecture halls. The records from 1874 and the handful of similar accounts from the late 19th century all point to the same conclusion. Multi-comet years have always been the exception, not the rule. The closest parallels in the historical record pale in comparison to what astronomers are bracing for now. With seven major comets inbound in a single season, the 2025 swarm stands alone, not just as a statistical anomaly, but as an event with no clear precedent in centuries of sky watching. The old circulars and ship logs serve as reminders. Even in the most storied years of cometary activity, the sky has never hosted a gathering like this. With seven major comets inbound, the story isn't just about numbers, it's about origins. This is a gathering that spans the full spectrum of cometary backgrounds. Some of these travelers are making their first recorded plunge from the Oort cloud, that distant shell of icy debris surrounding the solar system. Others are seasoned returnees, long-period comets whose orbits have brought them close to the sun before, now circling back after centuries in the dark. Threaded among them are a pair of Jupiter family comets, short-period objects whose paths are shaped by the giant planet's gravity, looping through the inner solar system on regular schedules. 
yet even this range doesn't cover the outlier. One member of the swarm, 3, I slash Atlas, traces a hyperbolic path that never closes. Its trajectory marks it as interstellar, the third such object ever confirmed, not bound to the sun and carrying material from another star system entirely. Early imaging from Hubble and tracking by JPL reveal that these comets are not only diverse in origin, but also in physical behavior. Several already display expanding comae, those ghostly halos of dust and gas, hinting at volatile chemistry and outgassing processes that may differ from one object to the next. For comet dynamicists, this mix is a rare laboratory. Each origin story carries clues about the environments where these bodies formed, the forces that nudged them sunward, and the chemistry they bring from distant reaches, whether from our own solar system's deep freeze or the far-flung outskirts of another star. The lineup ahead promises a closer look at these differences, comet by comet. Seven names now crowd the cometary spotlight, each with its own headline moment. C slash 2022 N2. Pan Stars leads the parade, reaching perihelion on July 31st, distant, faint, but setting the outer boundary for this cosmic procession. C slash 2025 R2 Swan, discovered by the SOHO spacecraft's ultraviolet eye, will swing closest to Earth on October 21st just 0.25 astronomical units away, close enough for binoculars and already famous for its early outburst. 414P slash stereo, a periodic visitor tracked mainly by solar observatories, will slip into the sun's glare around September 27th, visible to spacecraft but lost to ground-based eyes. C slash 2025 K1 Atlas, flagged by the Chilean Atlas Survey, is poised for a perilous sun-skimming pass on October 8th, its orbit bringing it closer to the sun than Mercury ever ventures. Then comes Thrigomai slash Atlas, an interstellar interloper set for perihelion on October 29th, with a coma so vast it rivals Jupiter in diameter, a true outlier among outliers. C slash 2025 A6 Lemon, discovered atop Arizona's Mount Lemon, promises the best naked eye display in early November, with predictions as bright as magnitude 3. Rounding out the group 240p slash NEAT, a periodic fainter comet, adds to the crowding, its presence a reminder that even the background players are part of this rare celestial gathering. With each name comes a different story. First-timers from the Oort cloud, seasoned returnees, periodic regulars, and one object from another star entirely. Their orbits now converge, setting the stage for a season of close encounters and overlapping paths. Solar physicists are watching the 2025 comet swarm with a mix of excitement and caution. For the first time in decades, so many major comets are threading paths near the ecliptic, the plane where the planets and most solar activity unfold. This alignment is no small detail. The NASA Community Coordinated Modeling Center has run simulations suggesting that, when multiple Comi cross the sun's equatorial outflow during solar maximum, the local solar wind could become more turbulent, possibly nudging the conditions for extra coronal mass ejections. Their models show how the plasma and dust streaming from each comet might briefly disturb the solar wind structure, especially with two to five coronal mass ejections already blasting out per week. But the Parker Solar Probe and ESA's solar orbiter teams see things differently. Their direct measurements point to comets as passive tracers, sensitive, yes, but swept along by the solar wind rather than shaping it. In their view, a comet's tail is a weather vane, not a trigger. Still, with seven comets converging at solar maximum, both camps agree. This is a rare chance to watch the sun's storms play out in real time and to test which model holds up under the weight of so much cosmic traffic. October 21st is already circled on calendars worldwide. C slash 2025 R2 Swan will make its closest approach to Earth, gliding just a quarter of an astronomical unit away. 
For a few nights, binoculars will be enough to catch its pale green glow, and amateur sky watchers from both hemispheres are gearing up for a global observation campaign. The excitement isn't limited to professionals. Citizen scientists are joining forces across continents, sharing images and light curves in real time through forums and comet tracking apps. Sky and Telescope is publishing updated guides, while SOHO's LASCO and Stereo spacecraft feeds will stream fresh data for anyone with an internet connection. Early November brings C-2025 A6 Lemon, tipped to reach naked eye brightness from rural dark sites, a rare treat for those willing to chase clear skies. Never before have so many eyes, from backyard telescopes to billion-dollar observatories, been trained on a single cosmic parade. This is a Skywatch showdown, open to anyone willing to look up. In over two decades of digital sky surveys, not a single season has matched the seven comet arrivals recorded for late 2025. Minor Planet Center logs, NASA, and ESA catalogs confirm that this clustering is a statistical outlier, with no comparable event since at least 1874. Among the seven, 3i Atlas stands out as only the third interstellar object ever confirmed, its hyperbolic orbit and unique composition documented by Hubble and JWST teams. Yet, despite precise orbital data and global observation campaigns, questions remain about the long-term effects of such a swarm, especially during solar maximum. Scientific debate continues over whether these comets influence solar activity as Parker Probe and Solar Orbiter data offer competing findings. What is certain? This convergence gives astronomers and citizen observers alike a rare, synchronized view of cometary science in action. For the first time, both backyard telescopes and space missions will watch as seven comets cross our skies together a documented event unmatched in the modern era.